Hi guys, uh, in this session we are going to learn a hacker rank problem titled Jumping on the Clouds Revisited. Uh, this problem is somewhat similar okay when compared to the previous problem what you have solved like jumping on the clouds okay but not exactly the same. We'll try to read this question and try to understand like what is the difference between this problem and the previous problem right. Let's quickly read this uh, question. Now basically uh, he, it says that Arith is playing a cloud hopping game so it's basically jumping from one cloud to another cloud right. So in this game there are sequentially numbered clouds that can be thunderbirds or cumulus clouds okay you have two types of clouds one is the thunderbirds the other one is the cumulus right. So the thunderbirds are like uh, clouds where uh, remember here we can actually land on both the clouds but uh, the Thunderbirds clouds are basically where you can you will perform a hard landing kind of thing. If you perform a hard landing then you spend more energy right and cumulus is like wherein you perform a soft landing wherein okay the amount of energy spent is less right okay. Now her character must jump from cloud to cloud until it reaches the start again. So you have a, a series of clouds right in a circular fashion you jump from one cloud to okay the next cloud okay uh, at every jump how you will not always be jumping by one one instead you will be jumping by k clouds right but the input will be given uh, in such a way that you should be able to start from a particular cloud that is let us say the first cloud and then you will be able to reach back to the same cloud okay after traversing the, all the clouds right okay now as i said like Okay, at every jump it is not always one, it is k number of uh, steps, right? Okay, now, okay, uh, he will have an in energy of uh, 100 initially and every time you jump what happens is like there is, okay, one energy point which will be reduced, right? Okay, in case of normal scenario, but in case if it is a thunderbird wherein it's a like hard okay uh, landing, then it says that there is additional energy of two points which will be reduced, right? Okay, the input will be in such a way that you will never lose out of energy, like you will never uh, okay lose out all your hundred okay initial energy, right? Because it's among the easier problems, so there's not too much of tricks out here. Fine. Now I think we'll just quickly read this particular okay problem statement and try to understand out here. Okay, here they're saying that there are eight clouds, right? And then okay, at every jump you will be jumping by two two clouds, right? And then okay, how is the or what is the type of the clouds are basically uh, entered as a binary input like zero for a cumulus, okay, where in normal clouds, and then one is for thunderbirds where it is like hard landing kind of things, right? You can just observe the first one is basically or uh, cumulus, second one is cumulus, third one is uh, thunderbird, again cumulus, cumulus, thunderbird, thunderbird and then cumulus, right? And then the same information is depicted through the diagram out here and you can since uh, the steps at every step you're going to jump by two thing out here, you can just see out here, you start from zero, you jump by two steps, right? At every jump you jump by two. Now here what happens, right? Uh, you start with an energy level of 100 and then for every jump, your energy level will reduce by one for every jump in a normal scenario plus since this is basically your thunderbird so you have will uh, reduce the energy by additional two steps so from here to here it reduces the energy by three points right and again from to again you jump to the next cloud which is jump by two but this is a cumulus one so you only lose an energy of by only one and again from four to six again you basically okay uh, jump by two steps and then you lose three energy points because one in a normal scenario plus hard landing and additional two. So you basically lose three energy points and then from here again two steps and then you come back to the original one. Okay, so you need to stop right. So same information depicted here from zero to two you lose three energy points from 100 it reduces to 97 and from this place okay from two to four it's in a normal okay or cumulus cloud so soft landing so only one energy point is lost. And then again from here okay uh, 4 to 6 you can observe that uh, it is again a thunderbird so you lose 3 points or 3 energy points from 96 to 93 and then 6 back to 0 okay you lose 1 energy point. Remember your incrementing should be in such a way they should go in circular fashion right okay. 
Now, okay, let us try to okay write the program for this. See, generally, when you look into the sample code which is given out here, you could see okay a lot of complicated code out here, right? If you feel that it is very complicated, you can just remove that code and then you can start writing your fresh code, right? Okay, I've re removed everything, right? I'm using C++. You can use C++ or C anything, right? So if you want to use C++, I'm going to use uh, IO string right uh, using namespace uh, std you can use a basic array or you can use a vector whichever you are comfortable with okay in case if i want to use a vector i'll need to include the header file vector right okay now the initial input says that i need to uh, the first line of input will be uh, having two values which is the number of clouds and then uh, at every step how much clouds you will be jumping which is a value of k so I need to declare two variables n and k, right? Uh, I'm declaring one variable in one line, right? Okay. See if you want to have the C out statements, you can do it. Okay, but again you have to come in at a later stage, right? Once uh, you read the value of n and k, then there will be uh, n number of inputs, okay, which has to be read in an array. So we can just declare an vector of integer, right? After that, we need to read for n number of times i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus right and since you have not specified the size of an uh, vector here you have to read into a normal variable and then add up to the vector so i'll just try to read this into a simple variable out here right oh, once i read it i would like to put this into the vector using pushback okay right in case you've already reserved the memory you can combine these two statements you can just okay put this in uh, c in v, v of i provided if you have reserved memory in fact if you already know and okay it's a fixed size like you can just reserve memory but please do observe it's not square brackets parenthesis if you do this then you don't really require an element like this you can directly write v of i okay right whichever you want either you want to read a separate variable and then push back or you directly want to reserve memory and directly read in v of i you can do it now the reading part is done right then you start with some energy okay initial energy so you can just say uh, energy equal to your initial energy what is the initial energy it is 100 and if you want to improve the readability what you can do is you can define a macro or a constant variable you can set this value and then you can use that particular variable out here so that you can improve the readability instead of using magic numbers then I need to keep on repeating the loop okay wherein like for example I start from the first cloud like let's say uh, I'll just write current cloud current cloud is zero right okay uh, I need to do a jump and after doing the jump I need to check out like okay uh, is it a thunderbird or is it a cumulus so uh, how many steps will I jump current cloud equal to current cloud plus k this will jump by k and we want circular fashion so since we require circular fashion we basically write mod n remember this is mod n is basically to move in circular fashion like for example 0 to 2 2 to 4 4 to 6 from 6 6 plus 2 will be 8 but if you say 8 mod 8 it will go back to 0 right for that purpose and okay you know that every jump will anyhow reduce the energy level by 1 like energy okay will be reduced by one right but in case if the current cloud is a thunderbird right how do i get to know that it's a thunderbird or not i need to look out in that vector so if if i check out if v of i equal to one right one is basically a, th a thunderbird right in that case your energy will reduce by additional two points energy equal to energy minus two right so we have to keep doing this till the current cloud is not equal to zero right see initially it was zero and i never used while loop i used do while because i want to do this checking after the first step right and then the input will be in such a way that you will reach back to the original one so you don't need to worry about it once you reach the end you just need to print what should we print we need to print the energy right final energy once you reach back so energy right that's it guys 
okay now let us try to uh, compile this particular code and check out it is working fine or not there is okay i variable is not declared okay because this one i variable is not declared out here so it is not i it is basically the current cloud okay right pass the sample test case and then i'm submitting it and check out like if it is passing all the test cases done and this is your code guys okay remember between c and c plus plus the only difference is like instead of c out and c in you can use scanf printf and then instead of vector you can use a traditional array right so it's a very 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 simple program thank you